and Samio are here in the Getty looking at a painting by Claude Joseph Verne called A Storm on a Mediterranean Coast. It was made in 1767 in Paris and is around four and a half feet wide. It says here that the painting is oil on canvas. Verne was commissioned by Louis XV to create a series of large-scale paintings of the Port of France. Yes, and also to show the strength of the navy at this time. There is a partner piece called A Calm at a Mediterranean Port. The port shown in the Calm painting can also be seen in the background of this painting. In the painting, which shows the calmness of nature, uh, the people seem to be loading onto a raft, which makes a reappearance in this painting. This landscape painting seems to depict a storm's aftermath. There is a shipwrecked boat off in the distance, distressed survivors on coast, and dark clouds above an angry sea. Uh, you can see that waves are ferociously crashing on the rocks and coast, and the people are doing their best to get everyone to safety. Uh, which would be on the highest ground they can find. The people off to the left seem to be trying to catch the attention of distant ships, while the people on the ground are trying to carry an injured woman and a child to safety. Um, here we can see there's a rampart, which is a defensive wall the French built to keep out invaders. Um, we can see that a group of soldiers are actually arriving onto this port. It seems here that Verne used a technique to emphasize the distress caused by nature. The figures all around are shown diagonal. Yes, you can see the boat is almost sideways, which is caused by the uncontrollable slanted waves. The people are all leaning in an attempt to find safety on the sloped rocks, which seem very unstable. Even the trees, clouds, and rain are almost sideways. If you look closely, we can see that the extreme detail in the painting uh, when we realize that even the birds are flying slanted. Yes, in fact, the only thing that remains standing upright is the port, showing the exceptional strength of the French Navy. Um, they seem to possess the power to create a structure which is powerful enough to withstand the fury of nature. Yeah, you're right, Jess W. The Navy has the power to create a structure nature cannot destroy. But that doesn't mean that man is dominant over nature. We see all around this painting that man doesn't stand a chance when put against it. Um, that's true, Samio. We can see that in the lower right corner there is a man attempting to help another man out of the water to save him from drowning. Um, but this man looks like he's in a lot of pain. He seems helpless, pushed up against the rocks and trying his best to get out, to get away from the destructive waves. We can also see that the uh, man-made ship almost seems brittle in the storm. We see this idea also represented in a poem by Thomas Hardy called The Convergence of the Twain. In this poem, there is talk of a ship that man thinks is unsinkable, but when put against the forces of nature, it didn't stand a chance. That's very true. Um, also in this poem, the ship, which was once full of life, extravagance, and warmth, is now sitting at the bottom of the sea, dead, cold, and useless. Even the tiny sea worm was indifferent to the giant man-made ship because it couldn't withstand the forces of, the forces of nature. The only reason the port had to rain, remain standing was because, once again, Verne was commissioned by the king to show the navy's limitless power. It, wasn't, it was supposed to invoke fear into its enemies.